Hi, my name's Brian, and I'm here in southern Idaho looking through the mountainside for morel mushrooms. Uh, beautiful weekend out in the woods, and it's not uncommon to find morels in the shade in a moist area. Um, we do find these white flowers, and where we seem to find these white flowers, boy, we really seem to get into the morels, but uh, not always uh, within a blanket of pine needles, but a mixture of good ground. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, uh, good ground where you can get a, 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 a lot of needles and the uh, evergreen. But here is a morel. Uh, actually, there's two. There's three if you count that little one. But we're going to leave that little one. We're going to harvest this one and we're going to leave that one there. Uh, what's important here is, is that when you come in and you cut it, you can see the base. We want to leave a little bit of that base. And what happens is, is that that's going to able to regenerate because we want our morel mushrooms to come back time and time again. Oh, there's another one. If you look through the bushes, here's a perfect example. Here's another one right here, tucked away into some, you can see the fallen wood and you can see where the morel is, is hanging out in the shade in a damp, moist area. If I claw away at the, at the earth, you can see it's a real dark, uh, wet surface. So I'm going to show you how to harvest one here. Uh, and I'm going to come right down below. Scissors. I don't pull it out of the ground. I don't break it. I cut it. You cut it right at the base, just like that. And we leave this on the ground because that's going to help regenerate. And when we carry them, we carry them in a, a big open bag. Let's go ahead and get this one. And we carry them in an open bag. And that bag will allow the spores to fall through the, uh, the bag. There's another one. And what we'll do is we're going to allow those to regenerate for next year. So we're very much concerned with repopulating our ground so we can come back time and time again and, and really get into some of these mushrooms year after year.